Wrong button. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Biomutant. I'm Flinger Foo, and today we're playing as little Foo. All right, I like being able to play as Foo. We're still in Bunker 101, which I think is kind of cool that um, they have uh, um, the tutorial is listed as 101, which is great. All right, let's see if we can actually get our butt out of here. The sound of spark metal going pew, good thing. It's coming from behind that door. Okay. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. All right. Um. So if there's a box, what do we do? Well, we open said it's box. It's going to oh. take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Okay. So. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Oh, we got it! <laughs> there you go. There we go. Nailed it! All right. I love it when a plan comes together. What just dripped on us? Oh. That was funky. All right. Hello. Airstrike. Perfectly countering an enemy's attack will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars circling above their head, and after hitting the enemy again, you can launch it up in the air by pressing left bumper. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Well, yeah. I got your back, dude. Right, let me get all these little dudes. Oh. That's the last of them. Yeah. Let's talk Suck to the it, wheel dude. before backup. Arrives. All right, hold on. I'm, I'll follow you, but let me get my stuff first, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, where are you going, man? He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Okay. I've never heard you before in my life. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. That's the spirit. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. Hmm... Remember what? How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Mooma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. 
your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Okay, now I'm starting to piece the things together. Although I do find it funny that it looks like he's got the uh, impending a microphone of hanging the from the ceiling right next to his head. Bringing down the tree of life to is a ever so match. close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Flashback. Oh, this is a long time ago. I'm a little foo. Oh, I can still kick. Best before. Okay. Asks uh -huh. if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. <laughs> You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. <laughs> he understands why you came all the way out here. To see them, the potato people. <laughs> the potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. Wait, they're spud dudes? <laughs> you might be right. Up. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Jer. Oh, it's down here. So small, I'm getting lost in the grass. I'm not one for cutesy stuff. This is cutesy. All right, what do I ruffle? Uh-huh. You found one. You should be proud. I am. They don't come out for everyone. That's right. right. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. Sure. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. <laughs> you handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. That's right. I was born with a net in my hand, fool. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come, so... Countless, he'd say. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But 
Today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. I have a feeling I've got a lot more to get. Wow, why does it have to be way back up there? Seriously, why make me run so much? Come on. It was cute. Now it's less cute. Oh, because I had to bring it back to the tree. Okay, all right, that makes sense. See, I did things. Now that you've right, seen dude. Nonono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal, not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. <laughs> you can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. <laughs> He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. Okay. I should make her worry. I'm trying to make the light decisions. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Nailed it! I grew that tree! Yeah! We lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun. And it wasn't... The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Gizmo. Route. Wiz is still uh, repairing his all the quests. Okay, to confront gotcha. the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Oh, these are the different factions or clans or whatever. Gotcha. Noho has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. I want a Hoof Puff. Still... Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Gotcha. Out of date says his friends are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mekton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. I want a Googlide. That sounds like Regardless, fun. you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. I have no idea what it is, but a goo glide? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey! Yeah, that's the thing I was born with. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, dude. Take it easy, man. You're getting the hang of it.
quickest way out is through the roof where they came in. And the rope looks strong enough to climb. Alright. Over here first. Oh, this is where I already was. Alright. I'm picking up what you're putting down, dudes. Yeah. Look at that. I got XP for grabbing the rope. What's here? Anything hidden here? Is there anything hidden in this? Hey, cricket dude. This game know is gorgeous. that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Hey, buy me. Got a screenshot of that. All right. Game looks so beautiful, though. Oh my god. I love the grass effects and everything. Yeah, I already figured out sprint. Thank you. A signpost maps it out for the Carter graphically challenged. Sure, thanks. Appreciate it. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, you they're fast travel points. Okay, gotcha. Oh, that's cool. Gotcha. Oh. oh, whoa, dude, what happened to you? Dude, have a Tums or something, man. That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. Yeah, that's what we'll I was need talking a hat about. To bring that down. He's obviously got the indigestion world or have something. Made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look. A survivor. <gasps> Glad to see someone made it out alive. Dude, are you okay? Surprised he didn't eat you. Oh, and this dude right here. Oh, man. Yeah, He's I know. heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. You have that completes a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue. Gotcha. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Five shrines will award you with five points. Used to unlock any powers. Powers only be unlocked once you have reached the required darker. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged. Not. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Alright, what am I doing? That's a spark of light in you! Oh, not these voices. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. Okay. Side point unlocked. All right. Awesome. And another side point unlocked. Awesome. 
There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Okay. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. Whoa. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. No. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Hmm. The what? Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Myriad is convinced that defeating the World Eaters is the only way the world can be saved, but they've been forced to focus on their rivalry with the Jagni tribe. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the Tree of Life if you lose track of what you need to do. Sure. Thank you. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the Cool, because I have a feeling I'm going to lose track. All right, well, quest tracking A. Um, place that, because I think I want to go over there. All right, let's see. Uh, save the game right quick. Yes, all right. Awesome, thank you. All right, let's uh, character... Wong Fu, uh, perks. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Hmm. Honestly, not sure if I want to do that. I think I want to save it for something a little bit better. Oh, now that one actually seems kind of cool. They'll attack their allies to use Moth Mouth. Press the input you have bound ability to... Yeah, I'm going to get that one. I want that. Cause chaos and confusion. I'm good with that. So it's not just my chaos and confusion. Uh, what do we want? We want to put it on. Sure. So we have to hold left trigger and then that. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. All right, let's get moving. Come on, please don't bore me with the narrator. In the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? I just want to play the game, dude. Let's go over this way. It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. All right, cool. All right, I like the narrator. It's just when it takes 20 minutes of narration before you can actually 
move? I have a problem. Wow. There we go. Hey, hombres! Alright, apparently these are the guys I'm supposed to be helping. Alright. We got over here. See what I mean about just gorgeous? Yeah. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. I don't want to stop and look at it. Because you asked me to stop and look at it. Alright, so... Okay, so that's what that looks like. Gotcha. I tried using it in combat and it wouldn't let me. I don't know why. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? I have no you clue, but we're going to find out. That way you'll know. All right, shut up, dude. Oh, wrong button. Thank you. Uh, oh, I peed on it. Oh, see. that's... Oh, you peed on it. <laughs> I was wondering what the yellow is. You're marking your territory. That is hilarious. Um, is it, is it, is it, literally, we peed on it. Yeah, that's okay. I'm fine with this. All right, let's get up in here. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. The Sifu's door is always open for newcomers, but he cautions you. They'll expect you to behave, or you'll have to face the consequences. Okay. I'll behave, I swear. You look regal. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on cruise. He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. All the goods are gonna hide. He's convinced you've returned for a reason and is glad you chose to come here. Well, good thing. Let's get started. Stop talking. Let's go. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He I can said still stop sense talking. Let's go. Kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory. Go. Oh. <laughs> Enough. There were six of them. But the unity fell apart after loop. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all di Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of- oh. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for- Sure, tomorrow. I'll join Myriad. He was hoping you'd join them. 
you understand that the okay. the Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribe. The myriad were placed here to fulfill a certain purpose, chosen to unite the tribes and take control of their destiny. The tribes need a firm hand guiding them into the future. Let's do this. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. They might bring them war, but they'll never... T he wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control okay. of. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, all right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Yeah. We'll you both that. have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. All right, let's stop talking. Let's get, let's get Once going. Once you've dealt with the rivals' outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite. They passed the point of no return. Seeing you brings back his... Okay, enough with the memory. Myriad wants unity. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Even though it's now a different place. Thank you. I'm leaving. Later, dude. <laughs> I just want to go out and have some fun adventure. Come on. Alright, where are we going? Thank you. Bye. Have fun talking to all the strangers. Not stopping talking. Alright. Oh, can I pee on this again? Let's see. All right, so we need to head out over here. Oh, you can only place waypoints on those. Okay. All right. Now we're heading back this way. All right. All right. So here's the cave. Oh, childhood village. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to take that back over. But I think that's probably going to be in the next episode. Hopefully we can actually go beat up some bad dudes. Because that's what I want to do. Alright, but hey. Anyway, uh, so we uh, made it through the rest of the tutorial. Plus, also, we claimed our side. Figured out what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, which is awesome. I I'm actually really looking forward to the game. It's just all the talking. Just to get to that point. A little annoying, but I think we're past that point now. So hey, anyway, if you guys uh, haven't already, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flagger Foo. And take it easy, everybody.